through a digital transformation i think uh, our 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 honorable prime minister mr narendra modi right so he he and also his whole cabinet i think they are trying to make india or they are trying to put india on a fast forward track through this uh, you can say digital uh, digital india so that's having said that so we see and everywhere increased demand of chips uh, from smartphones uh, home it equipments and also a lot of applications if you go to the airports uh, so uh, your your face is your your body pass so as we are moving more and more towards the digital economy more and more electronics are required and semiconductor as i said is is a backbone so we are the people behind or semiconductor is the uh, is behind uh, all the the new technology be it on artificial intelligence also internet of things are coming be it on the telecommunication side 5g 6g is coming automotive sector so all the development if you see in the car is is coming from the semiconductor side so there is the car is is the same car the only development or the advancements are coming which are driven only by the semiconductor or by electronics if i look at future india is going to be uh, the second largest market in the world from the perspective of the scale and growing demand of the semiconductor components across multiple industries we are number 3 we are third largest automotive industry so that is going to even further push the need of the semiconductor in india as we are making more and more uh, as per the view from the comment is make in india initiative so semiconductor is 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 serving i would say in a big way to to this make in india uh, initiative so i think uh, uh, the government is is pushing really hard so i think i am i'm fully convinced that in next 5 years our semiconductor demand in india is going to to go at least 3 to 4 times government is already putting a lot of efforts to boost uh, the semiconductor industry in india through various uh, initiatives uh, like pli or dli schemes uh, so we have subsidies available from government of india through these schemes uh, like there is a design link incentive scheme so if there is a company in india who is designing chips so they will get benefits uh, out of this scheme so this is uh, uh, i think this never happened why i call this as unprecedented is earlier scheme was only uh, used to be on some tool cost or something but here the indian government is asking okay we would like to have a real design proof from you and uh, so so they are uh, i think supporting the real business initiatives at the same time i think we have a large talent of uh, of of uh, i would say the workforce the young talent so Uh, the government is working with ministry of skill development entrepreneurship uh, for coordination of all the skill development efforts across the country removal of disconnect between demand and supply of skilled manpower building the vocational and technical framework skill upgradation building of new skills innovative thinking so not only for the existing job but also <clears throat> the the jobs which are going to come in future at the same time as i see india is going to be a world leader in engineering design and r&d as expenditures are expected to increase uh, using these skills here like in other geographies and we also have a sizable young population or uh, of uh, of the young we have a sizable young population who is uh, technologically oriented and uh, so we are a very 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 favorable demographic uh, uh, you can say location from the worldwide perspective so i think we we are very well poised uh, looking at the schemes or the push which government is giving looking at the talent that we have uh, and also government is also pushing not only on the design link but also they want to have the manufacturing infrastructure osat infrastructure for semiconductor display fabrication fabs so if i look at the overall picture we are creating a very very good ecosystem development here semiconductor uh, industry is a symbol of quick technical advancement so 25 years back there was not i would say very very less semiconductor so if you see last 25 years uh, we have seen 
huge advancements into this industry and this is changing our daily life uh this is helping us in efficiency increase uh, uh, be it in our personal effectiveness be it in the industries or be it in the way we communicate the way we <coughs> uh, we use things around us so from adoption of iot smartphones artificial intelligence 5g to the automotive industry i think the chips uh, or the semiconductor technologies are improving people's life and helping the organization functions in a more efficient and effective way so having said that uh, you touched upon the point of semiconductor shortage i think uh, last year or, or last couple of years we have seen the huge shortage uh, one of the major hit was automotive uh, and the automotive reason for our impact on the automotive is because of the, uh, the because of the worldwide lockdown and decreased demand of vehicles the automotive oem thought that they would not need the chip so they cancel their order uh, but at the same time so those orders by picked up by other industry so it was just just very difficult for them to to get back uh, so when the demand came back so it was very difficult for them to uh, to, uh, to recover uh, then also on the consumer tech uh, uh, tech part so since there were lockdown because of the pandemic a lot of people or everybody of us were working from home uh, even online working or remote working online learning so demand of gadgets like computer laptop tablet smartphones it surged significantly Uh, the chip scarcity also had impact the fmcg products including television refrigerator washing machines because more and more people were using these things so according to the goldman sachs study the price of i would say the numerous electrical product and component even uh, in generally we have seen the demand uh, the prices are going down of electronics but in last few years we have seen even uh, the the price is going up a bit so yes i think uh, uh, the 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 shortage is impacting various industries yes uh, basically uh, if i say the effect on the automotive industry has been more severe uh, because uh, as compared to the laptop white goods because they had reduced production uh, as a result of uh, semiconductor shortage compared to uh, to other companies like auto so the chips of automotive companies are much more complicated they use varied technologies and uh, so it it was it's a complex infrastructure and also the kind of quality requirements from the from the automotive manufacturers is also very high so and they also don't change their chips every other year so they need to have those supply chains which they were kind of getting the chip from last 5 6 10 years so they wanted to have those restored but while the chip semiconductor industry was going through a transformation so i think this uh, complicated a bit but i think as i see more and more uh, the semiconductor shortage is easing in 2023 uh at the same time i think will it completely vanish for automotive it's uh, it's hard to say but yes it will definitely ease uh as we are creating more capacity uh in in various uh, foundation in in 2 to 3 years even india is is uh, pumping up to have fabs in this uh, specially focusing on the automotive and uh, you can say consumer market so lot of lot of actions are in place Uh, looking at 2023 it will definitely ease uh, but may not vanish in 2 to 3 years we see it's getting much better i think it's it's a, it's it's a very interesting question uh if you see use of semiconductor is exponentially growing in our lives uh so a typical household uh, uh, so there there are i would say 20 to 25 devices in any house which are connected uh the exponential growth from 1 to 20 to 25 uh, years multiplied by words population growth that i i don't think that we are going to slow down any soon so 
one is the demand side we are increasing the number of devices which are using the semiconductor uh, now the question is okay innovative technologies as we are going into more and more advanced so we are talking about autonomous cars so cars will drive automatically we are talking about uh, 5g in telecom and now going to 6g so we are talking about industries which are going through transformation uh, so all these new needs either coming from automotive from from iot or mobile world or coming from even the industrial world so there are new solutions required from the semiconductor suppliers so that's where they need to innovate uh, we are talking about electric bike we are talking about electric scooters the uh, whatever the chips that we use in the cars are not exactly used in those uh, i would say two wheelers so every stage uh, we need to reinvent there has to be customized solution required for various industries uh, even we are seeing more and more things are going on cloud uh, so uh, there has to be if if we are using cloud there has to be a lot of wireless communication which it should be happening so i see as we are transforming our lives as we are transforming our industries our the way we do production innovation is required and it is happening uh, all around us see if, if if you simply see right the computers are there is no change in the desktop computers or the last laptop they look the same of course you will change the advanced process, processor from i3 to i5 to i7 but fundamentally they look the same but if you look at other things uh, be it on the communication side uh, so you your your mobile phone can download the data at uh, 200 gbps right so that's the amount of speeds that we are having so this is all enabled uh, by by semiconductor going forward we see artificial intelligence which is going to come in a big way so we want our uh, our compute power to go such high that we can even train those and uh, so those kind of things of course uh, as i say that uh, yeah i think the innovation is happening and uh, this is uh, uh, this is even going to happen at at much higher pace in next 5 to 10 years i think the technology is changing our lifestyle across the world from either we talk about silicon valley uh, in us or any rural village in india from smartphones to space shuttle from electric scooter to bullet trains inside each of them there are tiny pieces of technology which uh, they bring all together i think uh, so 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 that's the semiconductor right so the, the our lives are getting transformed irrespective of where we are uh, now semiconductor chips are vital component uh, in practically every industry however the world is facing a chip shortage as you rightly said because of the limited supply uh, in addition the long standing issues within the industry such as insufficient capacity at semiconductor fabs covid-19 pandemic introduce unprecedented challenges so to cope up with this india is laying a strong foundation of chip design uh, that can be expanded to research and development focus for product development and ip creation uh, so there are government schemes uh, for that and again india has a strong base of semiconductor chip design uh, a software intensive area the indian government in december 2021 rolled out uh, an incentive scheme uh, which was worth 76000 of crore around 10 billion dollar to attract international semiconductor and display manufacturers in a bit to establish uh, the fabs in in india so this will go a long way in establishing the country as a global hub for semiconductor goods beside creating jobs attracting investment from top companies around the world however apart from the high cost i think certain infrastructure requirements are vital it requires uninterrupted power supply access to millions of liters of water so at this moment india is lacking but i am aware that government is kind of creating special economic zones special areas where these uh, infrastructure needs are, are 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 fully covered so i see the the steps taken by the government in that respect are really commendable 
uh, and looking if we continue at this pace uh, i think in 3 to 5 years uh, you can already see that we are moving strongly in this direction uh, again so this will work as an accelerator for other sectors as well to contribute immensely to india's desired 5 trillion economy by 2025 so if i just summarize from my side semiconductor is the backbone uh, as we are pushing more and more make in india in uh, kind of uh, our goal so i think that this is the step in the right direction to have these incentives inviting the foreign companies to have their shops or to have their fabrication manufacturing units in india so given the kind of technical talent we have i have no doubt that we'll be successful we'll be even uh, i would say leader in this area in next 5 to 6 years